that whole soundtrack was done in my two bedroom apartment in South Pasadena. I basically converted my apartment. It was two bedrooms and the entire living room and dining room was a recording studio. Because it worked, yeah, it worked as well. And then we built a vocal booth in the living room. Like it was just a studio and two bedrooms, the whole apartment. And that whole soundtrack was pretty much done in that, in that apartment. We work in his studio, so it's a, just a, it's a small space, so we're not really uh, meeting the people who are, are actually playing the games. So, at least I, I don't. So until, until I came to Hungary, and then to Poland, and then to Russia, I, I had no idea that there's a lot of people who love this game series. For, for many different reasons. And so it's always a pleasure to come and see everybody and listen to the reasons why people like the games and the music. And, and I'm happy to, to play the melodies for them in person. I, I love the process of music and I love playing music. We pushed the, the uh, music out of the Baroque era and sort of a neoclassical feel into much more like late 19th, 20th century Russian composers or like a lot of with a, influence with a, a lot Prokofiev. of world influences and yeah, like just mm -hmm. random, just so many random world instruments throughout that soundtrack. But yeah, it was, it was cool. Yeah, but specifically, I, I like certain pieces were definitely uh, heavily uh, for me. The templates were were. Russian Prokofiev and Rachmaninoff. You spend so much time in the towns. And actually, we spent more time on that music. Like, I mean, the town themes are always bigger. They were, what, three minutes, four minutes mm -hmm. long, the songs. Little, little tiny details, of like whatever, a random flu, but that, the stuff like that could take hours and hours and hours for maybe only like five seconds of music. Well, I don't think the original songs were ever really properly mastered. Like, uh, we, after we did the compositions, we recorded them, and everything was recorded kind of live to dat tape, because the only thing that's been out there really is these MP3 files for 25 years. Oh, on YouTube. Yeah. yeah they, they, they so, so they're high-res files, and I spent like, I spent about two months doing all 40 or 50 songs. Wow. Yeah, wow. and uh, so they're all they're all have been remastered specifically for this vinyl release. When you're working on something that you love and oh, you're, you're working with somebody so or very close to you and they can, you know, guide you the right way, it's 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 fun. I was very happy. And thankfully we get along. Yeah, still <laughs> after 25 years or how long yeah. it's been.